All right, everyone, a lot has changed in Unreal Engine since the last time I made a video, and it's gotten way better, obviously. The biggest reason is because of Datasmith, and Datasmith has made it, especially when it comes to ArcViz, has just made it so easy to get started in Unreal Engine. So I'm gonna do some more videos about that. This time we're gonna do the sketch up to Datasmith because some people have asked, what if I have other models besides 3ds Max? Well, you don't actually need 3ds Max anymore. It has some important tools in it, like UVW mapping tools specifically. To get all your UVW mapping right, 3ds Max is a great tool for that. But if you can get everything right in SketchUp, maybe using plugins or just being very careful about how you do it, then you can just go straight to Unreal Engine and you can skip 3ds Max altogether, which might save you a lot of money if you don't need 3D Studio Max, right? If you're modeling in SketchUp, then this is a great place, a great way to go. So first you just have to get the download links for Unreal Engine Datasmith for SketchUp. The way I did that is through the Epic Games Launcher. Okay, here in the Epic Games Launcher, you can see that we have, have Unreal Engine 420. I believe this only works with 420. And in my library here, you'll see we're at 420. We have installed plugins, uh, Unreal Datasmith. Okay, there's updates for that. Down here is where I got the plugins for the engine. If you go into library, Unreal Studio Beta, you can go to exporter plugins and get them. And this is where you'll find the different ones available, which are basically the Autodesk 3ds Max exporter and the SketchUp Pro exporter. Okay, so you just need to download that and install it, and it will show you. It will show you here that you have installed plugins, including the DataSmith exporters. Okay, so let's close that down for now. What I'm going to do is I went to the SketchUp 3D warehouse and I just found this cool model of a Greek temple. And we're gonna use this. And you can see if you go into the 3D model, this is just a photo of it, but the model is actually pretty nice too. It's got all the materials on and that's the important thing because as we know, we can't really do UVW mapping in Unreal Engine. So it needs to be right here and all the materials need to be assigned properly because you can't change assignments to different faces in Unreal Engine either. So those are the important things. There's that model, we're gonna bring that in. We're gonna make it real cool looking just by bringing it into Unreal and using that as our renderer essentially. So in SketchUp, we're gonna open it. Okay, in SketchUp, once it's open, you don't really need much in here besides just to export it. So all we have to do is say, file, export, 3D model, Make sure you're at Unreal Datasmith down here, and then go where you want it to go. Okay, I've already got it here. I would save it here, and it makes a little assets folder, and it makes the U Datasmith folder. Hit export, and it should work. And that's all there is to it in SketchUp. That's easy enough. Just, again, make sure your materials are properly assigned and properly mapped to your different objects, and then you're good to go. I'll provide a link to this model in the description of the video so that you can get the same one if you want, but really anything in the 3D warehouse that looks good to you, you can bring into Unreal Engine and render. Now let's launch the engine and we'll see how this comes in. Okay, here let's just do a new project, like normal, everything's normal. Call it uh, sketch, up, sketch up underscore Datasmith. And here it's important, uh, with, with the current Unreal Studio beta version, which has been extended by the way, so you can still get it for free, they only offer this product viewer template, which isn't right for what we're trying to do. It doesn't work well for architecture. So if you just go back to your regular blueprints templates and go to virtual reality, if this is if that's what you want to do, or you can do first person shooter, we're actually going to just do, I'm going to show you how to do animations here. So, well, let's start with the, let's start with the virtual reality and we'll go from there. So everything's fine here. Create project. With later videos, I might go into first-person shooter navigation or basically desktop navigation of this model. You might do VR navigation. I'm also going to show you how to do some just real-time rendering and animation. That's what we're going to get to first. So the template doesn't matter that much except that we want Datasmith enabled. So you'll see now that with 420, even though you started with one of the old templates, Datasmith is still available here. If you were using one of the older ones, you can actually just go to plugins go down to Unreal Studio, and it would give you an option to say, convert to Datasmith project, 
and you could just hit that and it would restart your engine and then Datasmith would be available for you, even on older engines. But with 420, it just is there. So that's great. Let's go to file, new level, start with the default, wait for it to come in here. Let's save this as, save current as temple exterior, save. And the reason we start with this is because we've got some basic stuff in here already, which is great. So we'll just go to import Datasmith, find our SketchUp. Put it in the content folder, that's fine. Here it comes. And I don't think we want lights or camera. We're gonna put that in ourselves. SketchUp isn't gonna be great at that. So we can reserve that for Unreal Engine because it is pretty great at that. Okay, there it is. Navigate around here at will now. Okay, so you can see there's this picture here that he was using as a thumbnail to try and trick us. <laughs> he didn't need to, it's a pretty good model. So we can get rid of that. Our guy that was up here appears to be gone. He was probably ignored on the Datasmith import. Okay, great, there you go. So now we have it in here and it's doing just preview lighting right now. And it looks pretty cool already, but there's gonna be some issues and we haven't even baked any lighting yet or anything like that. It's just previewing using a dynamic light. Let's make sure we have a direct light in here. Light source. That was with the level template, and it is on. We can turn it up and down like this. We can also rotate it however we want. Don't want to go below the building. I need to see it. Spacebar to toggle through moving, rotating, or scaling. It's kind of a dusk shadow going across there. That's cool. Okay, but we're going to get into lighting in the next video, and we're going to really polish this up and get this looking as nice as possible lighting-wise, and then we'll do some uh, rendering and animation of it. Okay, next video.